Greetings, my friend. I'm Matt Schifferly here with another video to help you be fit and live free. And today we're addressing the realities of calorie balance. Now, one of the reasons why I personally, like many people, don't believe in calories in, calories out is because it's not so much that it's been proven wrong, because it certainly has been proven true. It's just that our ability to use it in a practical way to effectively lose or gain weight is just wildly out of sync with reality. And so when we apply those practical or seemingly the correct diet or exercise habits and we don't get results, we think, okay, the process doesn't work. But just because you don't build a good airplane doesn't mean flight isn't possible. And one of the reasons why calorie balance seems a little bit kind of out of step with reality is because we often think of calorie balance, it's that word, right? balance like it's this very narrow range of like okay i'm in balance now and if any little tiny thing like oh i had a chocolate chip cookie i'm in a surplus i'm gonna get fatter okay up oh, i did 20 minutes more of cardio i'm losing weight oh i'm in balance everything's gotta be perfect everything in my life up oh, shoot oh no i had a beer kind of thing we think it's so minute and not to mention the fact that we think we can accurately gauge our caloric intake and surplus like when people are like oh i had a 50 calorie deficit yesterday i'm like you don't know that like there's no way on a day-to-day -day basis we can have anything even close to an accurate number of calorie measurement not to mention the fact that we can't outright control calorie balance or the process of calories in calories out because like all fundamental processes that govern our health and fitness there are lots of influences that are totally out of our control and so our habits like our diet and our exercise habits they influence the process, doesn't mean they don't count for anything, but they really don't have that much power. So instead of thinking of calorie balance as like this really narrow range and it's skipping a workout or having an ice cream cone or something just puts you off, it's more like being here. And calorie balance is more like this in a certain place. Like the other day, it's like, okay, uh, last weekend I was traveling. I wasn't able to get out for my usual mountain bike rides, so I didn't burn nearly as many. But then again, I've also not been eating quite as much. But then again, I also went out for beer and fries and steak yesterday. But then again, I'm also doing a lot different things here in the gym, but I'm a lot busier. So we kind of, this is more balance. Some days more, some days less. We're active more. We're, this is usually where we are because there's a lot of influences too that we're not in control of changes in our gut bacteria, changes that subtly in our NEAT, in our exercise and our energy expenditure. You can do the exact same workout and have very different levels of calorie expenditure from one workout to the next, even though everything seemingly from a metric standpoint is the same. So that's why if we wanna make a change in our body weight, we can't just do these small little things like, oh, I had a sandwich and I left off the cheese and, you know, oh, I, I did, uh, you know, 10 minutes of uh, burpees the other day. It's like, yeah, small things add up, but the body has the ability to completely counteract these things without you knowing it. That's why if you want to make a big change, you got to get out of this kind of back and forth kind of thing, like tipping over a rowboat. You got to really go until you move a little bit. And then you have to be at a new set point. You're like, okay, and get the habits, get the habits, more, 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 and then you're here again. It's typically a lot harder to manage weight with these seemingly small things that we're only aware of in a 24 hour period. Instead, it's what influences can you stack on top of one another, one thing after another, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going until you start to shift to kind of a new body weight or set point instead of thinking, okay, I'm gonna micromanage my calorie balance because it really doesn't give you nearly as much control as you think it does. I know it feels like you have it when you get that extra workout in or when you skip the donut at breakfast, but these things are such trivial influences, they really don't matter all that much, but instead getting an extra workout every day to a high degree for six weeks, can push things in a direction and skipping the donut that you usually have might make more of a difference. So like many things in fitness, it's not that 
the way it actually works on the fundamental processes of Mother Nature is wrong. It's rather how we understand how to influence and utilize these things in a practical application is often just misguided from reality. All right, love to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. I come out with videos like this on how to get in the best shape of your life without becoming a slave to the diet and exercise rat race on a regular basis. And links to all my books and other resources down below in the description. Thank you very much. Be fit and live free.